Hello you three, how are you? I hope you're all fine. So today we are going to look at features of a non-chronological report. So I'd like to first start off by asking, what do you think a non-chronological report means? Let's look at the word or the term non-chronological. Non-chronological basically means not, non means not, remember the prefix non, it means not. Chronological means in order. So basically this is a report which isn't written in a specific order. What I mean by non-chronological, if you look, let's zoom in, if you look at the text here, uh, the second paragraph, it's all about the appearance. The third paragraph, it's about the habitat. The fourth is about the diet. And the last paragraph is about the movement. Let's say you feel like starting off with habitat. So you could start off with the habitat and then the appearance and then the movement and then the diet. It's totally up to you how you want to write it. It depends what you feel like. You can feel like, okay, let's talk about the appearance, how it looks, then what it eats and where it lives. Okay, so it's not, there's no specific order. You can write it in any order. That's why it's called a non-chronological report. So we're looking at the features of a non-chronological report. As you can see, we have something called the heading. Okay, the heading is very, very, okay, let's look at this one here. The heading is very, very, very important because it's basically the title of your report. So here, as you can see, what is a sloth? Let's say um, you're writing about a giraffe. You can write, what is a giraffe? So this is your heading. Under your heading, you have an introduction. So these three lines, as you can see, a sloth is a mammal in the rainforest of Central and South America. There are two types of sloth two toad slots and three toad slots. So it just gave you like a brief introduction about a sloth. It told you that it's, um, as you can see, uh, as I just read, it told you that it's a mammal and where does it live? And do you have two types? Um, after the heading, so after the heading, you have a brief introduction. And this is a very important feature of a non-chronological report. Subheadings. Subheadings, as you can see, this is a subheading. Appearance is a subheading. Habitat is a su another subheading. Diet is another subheading. Movement is another subheading. So subheadings are very, very, very important. And it's like a little title for your paragraph. So let's say you're talking about how it looks like. So you'd write appearance and then you'd write a paragraph about how it appears. How does it look like? Let's say you're writing about where does it live? So you write habitat and then another paragraph about where does it live? Diet, a subheading diet. Then you would write a few lines telling what does it eat? And as you can see here, our last subheading is movement. And again, it tells us how does it move? Is it, does it move slowly? Does it move quickly? Okay, so another paragraph about the movement. So, so far we have heading, the title, then we have an introduction followed by subheadings for each paragraph. Of course we have paragraphs, as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five paragraphs and a fact box. Okay, a fact box, it's like um, the did you know box or amazing facts, interesting facts, okay? We write it in, we have it in bullet points. So another feature of a non-chronological report um, would be the images. As you can see, we, we have two images. Imagine there weren't any images in this report. It's going to be very hard to imagine what a sloth is. So it's very, very important to have your images um, in place. Under the image, you have something called a caption. A caption. A caption is basically a little description about what the image is about. And don't forget technical vocabulary. So you have to have strong and good vocabulary related to your report. 
And last but not least, I mentioned that we have a fax pack box. So I, as I said, a fact box is all about um, the current animal you're speaking about or the, let's say you're writing about a giraffe. So did you know box about giraffe? Uh, if you're writing about a rabbit, interesting facts about a rabbit and so on. So uh, let's quickly recap. We have our heading followed by a brief introduction. Then we have subheadings, uh, appearance, habitat, diet, movement, and you have your paragraph under your subheading. You've got images and a caption under your image describing, what, describing your image. Of course, we have paragraphs, good vocabulary, and fact box, and, okay, fact box with bullet points. Okay, so here is the question. Let me. Okay, so this is a non-chronological report. As you can see, we have our heading, a brief introduction about what we're talking about. They, as we said, it's a non-chronological report. Uh, so they had the did you know box. Okay, they 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 started with right. They started writing about um, the did you know box, followed by amazing facts. Okay, and let's look at this paragraph here. It says, foxes are carnivores, which means they eat meat, but they will eat berries off bushes and even look in rubbish bins for leftovers. So what do you think the subheading for this paragraph is about? Hmm, what was the paragraph about? Was it about uh, where does it live? No, I don't think so, because it mentions that they are carnivores and they eat. Ah, so something about what they eat. So this should be about their diet. So the subheading should be diet or what they eat. Yes. What do foxes eat? Let's look at this example here. So foxes are found in all sorts of places or habitats. They live with other foxes in dens in the countryside, but will also make their homes in towns and cities. You might spot one if you are out, on, out in a dark night. Out on a dark night. In the countryside, foxes are used to be hunted for their tail or bushes and because some people see them as pests. Okay, so what do you think the subheading should be? The subheading here, where are they found? Where do they live maybe? Okay, so maybe where do the foxes live? Where do they live? Okay, remember subheadings are very, very, very important. Okay, uh, last but not least, I would like to go over uh, okay, I'd like to go over this checklist. So as we mentioned, we have a topic, the title, followed by an introduction. Of course, our text has to be, to be, has to be organized in paragraphs. Don't forget your subheadings. Okay, subheadings, your fact box or bullet point list. Okay, so you'd have a fact box with bullet points or a fact box with a paragraph. It's totally up to you. It should be written in present tense, and it's, of course, factual language. It's based on facts, okay? Nothing is made up. It's all based on facts, so it's nonfiction. Don't forget your technical words. And lastly, uh, it should have a formal tone. And that's it for today. Thank you for your time, and see you soon. Bye-bye.